To help you implement effective routines in your classroom, consider the following key questions as you watch this portion of the program. Do your early morning routines get students into the room and on task quickly? In what ways do your classroom routines help students be responsible and accountable? How do you transition students to minimize downtime? Today we are going to talk about centers. You're going to go into different groups, all right? Everybody will do be doing something different at each center. Effective routines and procedures create order and stability, clarify expectations for behavior, and maximize time for teaching and learning in primary classrooms. Here it says, this is the listening center. And it says, number one, you have to listen to the story. Number two, you have to complete a worksheet. Here are the headphones. You put the headphones on your head. And when everyone is ready, one person will push the play button. There's no procedure too small. Those are pretty simple procedures, but they're very important procedures when it comes to uh, making your class run smoothly and feeling good about the day as a teacher. You think you can do that? Yeah. So I'm going to start calling your names, and then you're going to take your journal, take a pencil, and have a seat at your desk to show me that you're ready, okay? Beginning on day one and throughout the first few months of the school year, primary level teachers introduce and reinforce a variety of routines and procedures. In order for routines to become part of students' repertoire, they need to be introduced, modeled, practiced, and reinforced. <laughs> 